In this video, we will look at an example of a cash receipt, or it's also called a till slip. So, this is a piece of paper that you get after paying in a shop. It just proves that you paid for your items, and the shop uses this to keep record of their sales. So now, at the top, you'll have your shop name, and that's very typical, and then somewhere along, you'll have a VAT number. Now, we remember that VAT is short for Value Added Tax. And remember they can ask this so study that remember it make a note and then what is that or value added tax so when you pay for an item a certain amount is added which we know is 15 percent and that's a set amount that is then paid to the government all right so on the left side you'll see the items on the right side you'll see the prices we start with chicken, that's 3.5 kg, and this person bought 6 ads or 414 rand each, right? So it's 114 rand for 6 packs. So if you want to now know A, which is the total amount that he paid there for the chicken, it would be 6 times 114 rand, because bought six packs of 114 rand each. If you times that, you'll see the answer is 684 rand. Okay, we continue onwards. We see bread, 14 rand, carrots, 7 rand, 18 cents. And we note that there's a little star. And these items with a star, or sometimes they also use a letter like A, these items have no VAT added to them. These are usually cheap items like maize meal or vegetables and fruits. And it's just there so that people can afford these type of items. So that's why they keep the price low and they don't add VAT. Okay, then we have coffee and then we have pasta. It says times B. For 27 rand or at 27 rand and the total is 81 rand so now they want from us we need to figure out how many packets of pasta that this person buy so we're looking for the amount or the number and when you want to find that you divide so you use your big number it cost 81 rand and it was 27 rand for each we say 81 divide by 27 you will get um, 3 so this person bought 3 packets of pasta ok so I'm going to put that in there 3 alright then we continue we say this person also got a plastic bag and it was 8 cent and now we are looking for the VAT the total amount of VAT how are you going to find that now you're going to say VAT is 15%, which we know, of the total amount, right. However, there were some items here that had no VAT added to them. And those items would be the bread and the carrots. So we will deduct this amount and the carrots 7 rand 18 cent from the total now note then 15 percent is 15 of 100 and whenever you have a of it changes to multiplication now the total amount we know is that total one on the it's here on the slip it's a total 841 and 21 cents and then we just subtract that Put all of this in your calculator, see what you get. It's going to be 122 Rand, 122. And since it is money, we're working with money, we will have to round off to two decimal places. So it will be 86 cents. Okay, and that is your C or your VAT. Alright, so lastly, we look at rounding. What happened here? Why did it go from 21 to 20 cents? 
This 21 is an important thing to note, this one cent. South Africa does not have one cent in use anymore. They don't have one cent, they only start at five cents and up. They also don't have two cents that they have use anymore. Right, so since that's gone now, shops can't expect people to pay 21 cents. How are they going to get that if they pay cash? So then they round it to 20 cents. Sometimes they round down or they could round up. But yeah, in this case, so people are expected to pay a little less, 20 cents. And that is a bargain. That's a deal. Right. So remember to share, like, subscribe, become part of the Whiteboard SA team. And check out some of our other videos on math literacy.